Welcome. It's Sunday, March 6, 2016. Welcome to the second part of the hexagon hypothesis. So, thank you very much to everybody who's contributed. Uh, it's definitely a team effort, and I'd like to encourage anyone to contact me or comment below with your ideas. Uh, it's important to keep thinking, keep questioning, keep commenting, and keep an open mind. Now, I want to answer the number one question out there. Does the sun exist? Or have we just been living with it like this for a long time? Well, before I get into that, I want to explain how a solar simulator works. It works, as you can see in the diagram, by taking a variety of sources of light. And they bounce off of a parabolic reflector into a bottom dish, where they reflect and collimate, moving up a light shaft, bouncing a cop off of a couple more reflectors, and out onto us. The answer to the question in short is yes, the sun is real. And there was a time when we were able to get very sharp images of the sun. As you can see, it's got well-defined edges and is completely circular. Now, this was at a time before we had a lot of chemicals in the atmosphere, and so such a thing was possible. At some point, however, we just kind of stopped asking questions and took for granted what was in the sky was always there. Nowadays, when we capture images of the sun, we see fairly obscured edges, and on the clearest of days, it's still very fuzzy. Some of these shots are, are ones that I took, and eventually, we ended up catching what looked like a hexagon. Now, another reader astutely pointed out that the sun is real because plants, and that's true, uh, plants and physics. We know that because there has to be light going into it, it comes from a power source, and the light that comes out is going to be a close approximation of the solar radiation spectrum, but not complete. And we also know that the total energy input cannot be greater than the total energy output. Assuming the hypothesis to be true, that we have plants and trees and things growing in our ecosystem, is a good indication that at some point the sun would have been real. Now, here's just a speculative thought. Wouldn't it be interesting if we were able to get the full energetic output of the sun directed through a solar simulator? That is, if we had all the chemicals blocking out the solar rays normally, and we used satellites and other devices in space to reflect sunlight and direct it into our solar simulator, the organization that controlled that would control the sun.